do the take off of that one. <laughs> that was great, right? You know. Good morning, YouTubians. Gary with VW Jawbreaker. Welcome back to another exciting day of. We're gonna go have some fun. That's all that matters. So we got a little bit of interesting day here in Florida. I don't know. Uh, finally been getting some rain lately. It's been quite crispy. But regardless, we're gonna go visit Jack today. If you remember a little while back, he had that uh, Barn Find 69 Fastback. We're gonna go check it out, see what kind of progress he's made. And we're gonna see if one of those engines will run. I have no clue how long they've been sitting. So we got Jawbreaker all loaded up, ready to go. So stick around, enjoy the short trip, and we'll see you when we get to Jack's house. Made it to Jack's house, as you remember. We're gonna check these out this time, but the fastback is in the garage. We go check out the fastback, and I hear a Volkswagen. I hear a Volkswagen. I hear a Volkswagen. Hey, look who made it! Look at that. Like Daniel's Motor Works is here now. I guess it's time to get the party started. Good morning, sir. Good morning. What are we gonna hit? Nothing, straight back. All right, that's good. That's good. All right, well, there it is. Got his pink lid on. Got the fenders on. Fenders are on. Just kind of mocking things up. Seeing what's what. Looks good. A couple little minor things we didn't notice at the time. Got a little bit of Swiss cheese down here in the heater. And you notice anything missing? may have welded up the glove box. Other than that, we started stripping things back. Looking good. A couple little minor spots here and there. But uh, yeah, it's looking good, Jack. Looking real good. Oh yeah, that's right. They also filled in the vents, but that's all right. Make it a little bit more unique. So all those boxes he had, that we unloaded, we actually consolidated everything down to that. And he's still got tons of parts. So Jack, are we gonna get this motor running today? That's the game plan. That's the game plan? That's why I brought the experts over. Oh, you brought the experts over? Who's that? Is somebody else here? Uh, yeah, someone. Someone, okay. All right, that's good. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, get this thing pushed out and get the engine set up and see if we can get it fired up. Get good shots of his butt for the clickbait. <laughs> With the post right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Hurt, hurt. I'll do it like this. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I know they were a different crack. <laughs> hey, different strokes for different folks. Oh, do we have to take those boots off or do you think we can get it up and over? Well, I don't. Take them to the park. Oh, there you go. Okay. Come off. No, that good. should come off now. 
I think this is bolted down to the block. Though. It is. So that is a 13 millimeter. You're going to need a little longer extension. Oh, that one will pull off. I'm glad if somebody professional showed up today. Exactly. Oh, look what else they This is a California delivery motor. Oh, yeah. 1971. That See that hose right there? That one right there. Goes right through and one. under. Look where it goes to. Yeah. Right back down into the. No, well, I just put that to plug the hole. <laughs> but it runs the rocket cover. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Rebreather. Factory. Emissions. Factory emissions. Okay, so between the three starters we have, we might have one. Should be an SR 17X. That one right there, SR 17X. Yeah. yeah. What he Sorry. said. <laughs> Hello. Look, I'm just an old parts guy. What do you expect me to know? Everything. Oh, and that's why we call you first. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. You got it? Gave me a... Oh, you get the fancy one. I could have got that on my bag. <laughs> I bought one of those. That's how you do the back, the back nut on it. Yeah. I went ahead and purchased one of those finally instead of fighting with it. I almost had it off and then the last few threads were kind of dirty, I should say. Dirty, dirty, bad, bad. Oh man. Well, I think it's effective. I'll have to take it to my house. We'll All get right. you a new one. Oh, never mind. Very fixed it. I hate it when I do that. Uh, no, another bolt back here. Uh, that's yep. So three bolts, folks. <laughs> All their fancy nuts and bolts. Fuel injection systems. <laughs> Tells me the other one. Yeah, yeah so we're going to have to, all. that's hitting a 10, but if we run it backwards, should seal up just fine. Well, it's, I'm sitting flat. Not, not on that that's side. That's I was worried about on this side. You have the oil cooler. Yep, the oil cooler's not going to clear. Shoot. So you can't use type 1 stuff on a type 3. Unless you're doing dual carbs. That should have brought a set of 40s over. Yep. You could have put a set of dual 40s on it to fire it off. Damn it, man. Well, so much for that. Well. We can sit here and spit in it and just pour gas right down and crank it over, but it ain't gonna fire, so. It might sputter. It probably sputter. We can see if it will it sputter. Yes. Yeah. Well, why don't we put the, put the tank three manifold and boots back on, mm -hmm. and we can squirt in the throttle. Right into the fuel injection system? Put, and then to the intake. Right into the intake. Yeah. Trickle into the intake. We do that. Into the... right. Well, it's a good thing I brought you the intake and car. Well, good thing you have new gaskets. <laughs> Live and learn. Yeah, pretty straight, Jack. Yeah. Oh, we can see what kind of plugs are in there. Probably got champions in it. Oh, this is going to fire off with no fuel. It can't be, they're coming out. That's <laughs> true. Huh, that's interesting. Is it good? No, it's got Bosch Super Plus. Oh, all right. It's got some weird paper around it. Check that out. I'm going to put some kind of weird paper on the end of the Maybe. Oh, yeah. It may very well be. Play uh, like old masking tape. Pull the other, then I'll pull these two, and then we'll... Fire it off again and see what happens. Yeah. Maybe get some oil to spit out. Oh, my oil pressure light's hooked up, so... See when it starts building pressure. Yeah. Yeah, throw some lube in those cylinders. Uh -oh. Lube up the cylinders, baby. She brought the Marvel Mystery Oil. Love that stuff. I do, too. Yeah, it's in, it's, you got it. Oh, 
stay uh, down in there. It's a new stock of sorry. Oh. Just it's drop got it on paper the floor? On it too. Oh, it's got paper on it. So they did. They put I wonder if they put tape and marked them all off. You want the spark plug? No. You want the spark plug? No. Give me the damn socket. <laughs> the hell's wrong with you, man? WR8 ACs. Made in brass steel, they're good ones. Resistors. Plus plus. Yeah, I don't remember if this is plugs in mine, but I don't have a radio either, so. How do you do that so quick? Because that one was loose. <laughs> that one was loose because that's not even crushed. Yeah. Well, alright. We'll yeah, fix that. Cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't holding compression back behind it. This one was uh I wonder if they put tape on them because they didn't have a uh, didn't have the rubber gasket in there. Spark plug yeah. wrench. Oh, uh, that could have been. So they needed to get just a little tighter on the. Uh, you know, because now that'll just chip off and fall down into the cylinder, and nobody wants that. Yeah, they do. Do they? Some people do. Some people may pay extra for that. True. Yeah. Oh yeah. We got a nice little straight here. That's too compressive. I got a little pressure. Woo! She's blowing out nice. Motor. Oh yeah. Well oil pressure is pretty cool. Yeah. All right. There it is. Cool. All right. All right. Got oil pressure. All right. I guess we'll stick those back in and see if it'll make boom, boom, boom. With fuel injection and no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should try and sound like it's gonna start at least. It's okay if I cross thread these, right? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Okay. We're not. We're not pictures. Yeah. Remember when we had to chase that last one on that other motor? Yeah, but I'm tired of running around. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you know, got the tired of running. Got the Sounds almost like a Toyota when it's running. It does. <laughs> oh wait, that is a Toyota. We're gonna get crucified. He put WD40 in the cylinder, not Marvel. Not Marvel. That's not. That's right. not a Volks, That's a non Volkswagen thing. That is a very non Volkswagen thing. You can tell he used to do American cars. Definitely. Started. There you go, sir. That's probably tight enough. Get the socket. Got any rubber in there? That's nice. I guess I'll hook up the spark plug wires. You just have the, the firing order on them, do yours? Uh, yeah, I have mm -hmm. tape on mine. Yeah, mine have tape on them as well. That was pretty trick. Yeah, I bet you the, the spark plug probably said the same things on them. Assuming the numbers are correct. Whoa! <laughs> 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 oh! Good job. Assume nothing with the wiring. Yeah. yeah. Four. That's alright. That's I'm, a type three, that's still number four, isn't it? No, it's backwards. Oh, that's right. It's the upper cylinder. <laughs> no, you don't want me to touch your butt. Alright, so you got the spray bottle? Oh, prime it. Prime? No. Alright. Everyone wants to go. Let it? Yeah, I yeah, it's dripping out the uh Hey blew the tape off of that one. <laughs> that was great, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Try it. Wow. Gotta go to oil pressure though. Yeah it does. It takes a lot to turn that automatic transmission though. It does. Boy, oh boy. It's gonna need more fuel. Ready? Oh. Yeah, it doesn't want to uh, doesn't want to spin that transmission over. No, it doesn't. Axles aren't turning though. No. It must be in neutral. In park. I guess it'll be in park. I'm not familiar with uh, actual automatic transmissions. Well, this should be... You got fluid in it. Yeah. 
So does you checked it? Oh yeah. So so this would be park. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those those reactions would be hot. dry. <laughs> Are they hot? Yeah. The negatives hot? Both. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just pulling some amp and she's there. Yep. Oh yeah. Hey! Trying to It's a little better. Yeah. Just gotta let it cycle back up. We had a carburetor on it that wouldn't start. I, I really believe that. I think it's gonna fire. I think it's gonna fire. What about uh, start fluid? I don't know that. No, no ether? Alright. It's got ether in it. We can fire it with that. Let's smoke up. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna matter. <laughs> I'll give you some. We don't have an ECU either. Not even hot. No, that's good. Which is funny. It wants to fire. It does. Ah. Gotta charge the battery <clears throat> back up. I'm losing fuel out that. Oh yeah, we got that vacuum leak on the bottom now yeah. too. Yeah, it's just leaking right out around it. It's all right. It runs. Got great oil pressure. Incredible compression. It's a runner. <laughs> Should have hey. brought a set of fuel cars over for you, man. Now we know. It runs. Okay. Sweet. Encore. Hey. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. It's a runner. I'm going to say a score. Nice. Congratulations, score. Jack. You got a good Congratulations. Runner. You got a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> You're but a grandpa. But it's got four legs. That's oh, okay. Oh, man. That's all right. It's going to be okay. Dude. Sweet. Love it. That thing is incredible. Well, I'm going to tell you, next thing we got to do is get it in the car and take it for a drive. The seat's in there now. Seat's in there. The steering's hooked up. up. Steering's hooked up. up. We, we have don't two. need brakes. We have two by fours for brakes. We do have two. We can throw out the anchor, and we already know we can drive a dune buggy without brakes around the neighborhood pretty damn quick. I also know you guys don't need seats. We don't, no. we don't need seats. Milk crate. Milk crate, run. <laughs> yeah, you're going to need a set of cars, uh, but it's a runner. 34 ICTs. Ooh. Talk to John Balder. That's right. John, he did his servo. He just took his 34 ICTs off his bus and he went back to a factory car. He said he's got a couple of those and a couple of 34 baby Dells. He may be willing to set the car with there. There you go. Type four. But you just get the manifolds. No, the car. his bus is type one. Yeah, his bus is a type one. His it's split, a splitty. His split. He just put a factory oh. carburetor back on his split. And oh. he said he's probably gonna go to the Dells next. Cause I was talking to him about carbs. We were talking about jetting out his factory car. I like everybody leaves me out of the conversation. Nobody talks to me, man. What the hell? <laughs> All right, so it's a runner. Who's who's that? What? Jaw what? Jaw what? <laughs> All right, well, it's a runner. It's good to go. We've got 
That's the 69 auto stick he did for his wife. Absolutely beautiful car. Beautiful car. I know I haven't got this on video before, but this thing's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. A lot of custom touches on it. Left some of the blemishes in it and uh, shot it. It's nice. I love it. Now, of course, you guys have seen Schnitzel before. Beautiful boss that now has <laughs> AC. What the heck? Look at it sweating. It is absolutely insane. It's like 70 degrees inside the bus right now. I'm not going to be rude and open it. And there's his wagon daily. We got Terrap in there from McDaniel Motor Works. And you guys have seen Jawbreaker before. We don't need to see that car. That car's ridiculous. There we go. There's the Fasty. So I appreciate you guys coming along. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the time in the garage and we'll catch you later. Till the next time, be kind and be good.